What's one of the things that can put a damper on a winning sports franchise? How about an outdated stadium or arena? Sure, the Dallas Cowboys have consistently underachieved in the 21st century, but at least they look good doing it, playing in the gorgeous AT&T Stadium. Now, if only these eight sports franchises could get a well-deserved new home to accommodate their winning ways. Before we get started, a big shout out to David for suggesting this video. Alex the writer decided that he wanted to tweak it and talk about all sports for this video. So, I guess that's what's going to happen. Buffalo Bills It's a matter of when the Bills get a new stadium, not if. Only Soldier Field, Lambeau Field, and Arrowhead Stadium are older than Highmark Stadium, which opened in 1973. The stadium is completely outdated and owners Terry and Kim Pegula are working extensively to secure a new one. The Bills and this extremely passionate and devoted fan base deserve an up-to-date stadium. I mean, look at how beautiful and jaw-dropping the newer venues are. Attendance and the overall atmosphere has always been strong, even when the Bills were awful for most of the 2000s and 2010s. Powerhouse teams like the Los Angeles Rams and San Francisco 49ers get to enjoy gorgeous new stadiums. Now, the Bills, who figured to compete for Super Bowls over the next decade plus, are in need of one too. Commissioner Roger Goodell also wants the Bills to stay in Buffalo, and he believes that a new stadium is necessary. He went so far as to say, You've got to think long term here. This has been going on for decades, and it's time to get a new stadium done. That we can make sure the Bills are here and successful for many, many decades going forward. We're focused on keeping the Bills in Buffalo in a new stadium in a public private partnership. That's what this is all about, and that's where we're focusing. On top of the near two decades of constant losing, these poor fans have had to deal with rumors of relocation to Toronto, and more recently, Austin. It could just be a ploy to secure a new stadium. We've seen many sports owners pull off this move in the past. It's hard to think of a top-notch sports team that deserves a new stadium more than the Buffalo Bills. Get them a downtown home and secure the future there. That shouldn't drag on any longer. Tampa Bay Rays. It's honestly disappointing. The Rays are honestly such a fun story. They operate as a Moneyball franchise and have made two runs for the World Series despite having a fraction of the financial resources that the AL East rivals Boston Red Sox and New York Yankees enjoy. The Rays are an annual playoff contender, but they're stuck in Tropicana Field, perhaps the worst professional sports team venue in America. It doesn't help that they're already in a market that struggles to attract fans. The Lightning and Bucks don't have a problem bringing in supporters when they're winning, though. So why can't the Rays enjoy the same luxury? Perhaps if the Rays had a better location and a fresh new ballpark, the fans would come in droves. But St. Petersburg just isn't going to cut it. Relocation is a strong possibility, but one intriguing idea is on the table. For the Rays to split their future home games in Tampa Bay and Montreal. The French-Canadian city has a strong baseball market, but they lost their Expos to Washington in 2005 thanks to a weak Canadian dollar. That plan would be cool and all for the people of Montreal, but wouldn't it be nice if the Rays could just get a new downtown stadium in Tampa rather than have to split their games in two cities? Again, Tropicana Field is lousy, the catwalks, the white roofing that sometimes causes players to lose sight of the ball, and the location of the bullpens are brutal. This organization deserves better, beginning with more fan support and a better up-to-date stadium. Washington Football Team Yeah, Washington can now be considered a good team after winning the NFC East in 2020. I know it's hard to believe given the countless disasters under current ownership. But Ron Rivera changing the culture in the locker room and Chase Young anchoring what should be a championship caliber defense for many years to come, the future finally looks promising in DC. Can you believe it? Now let's just hope Dan Schneider doesn't ruin all the fun. So anyway, here's the deal. FedEx Field, for a variety of reasons, is the worst NFL stadium right now. It only opened in 1997, but just by looking at it, you think the venue is over 50 years old. The stadium is located in Summerfield, Maryland, not DC. It's in a location that is a hassle to get to by the transit system. That's obviously a big no-no for the fans who'd rather not have to pay the high parking fees. It also doesn't help that Mr. Schneider has made the game day experience so lackluster. Tickets are overpriced for a team that was awful for much of the last two decades. He even periodically banned game signs for crying out loud. The location and stadium quality, along with the constant losing, have made FedEx Field one of the least desirable stadiums for anyone to attend. The good news is that in 2021, Schneider told TMZ that the football team plans to have a new stadium open by 2027. He listed Virginia, D.C., and Maryland as sites that are being explored for the new stadium. That's nice and all, but until it actually happens, the Washington football team will continue to end up on these lists of sports franchises with terrible stadiums. Calgary Flames There are only two NHL venues older than the Scotiabank Saddle Dome, Madison Square Garden in New York, and Climate Pledge Arena, the home of the Seattle Kraken franchise. MSG, of course, has undergone plenty of renovations to give the arena a more modern and updated look. 
The same cannot be said about the Flames' home arena, which is in desperate need of a facelift, or better yet, a replacement. After lengthy back-and-forth battles, the franchise finally secured a new arena, putting an end to the Houston relocation rumors. The Calgary Event Center will commence development in 2022. Of course, the Flames still have at least a couple more seasons at the Saddle Dome, so until they actually move, like the Washington football team, this NHL franchise will be included on lists like this. The arena is just too out of date and it lacks any modern features, especially compared to some of the newer venues. Fans often complain about the brutal bathroom waits, and let's just say that journalists who are deathly afraid of heights will not like the press box location. Big yikes. The good news is that the Flames and their fans will eventually be treated to a brand new arena. No NHL franchise needs one more. Phoenix Suns Now known as the Footprint Center, the Suns' home arena opened in 1992. That doesn't seem too old, right? Funny enough, it's actually the fourth oldest arena among all NBA teams. The 2021 Western Conference finalists will stay here for the long run. It has a prime location and recently underwent some much-needed renovations that cost a reported $230 million. Even with the renovations, though, the Footprint Center just doesn't stack up too well with the other more modern NBA arenas. Obviously, the franchise won't be relocating anytime soon, but wouldn't it be nice if they had a new home to enjoy, like the Golden State Warriors and Milwaukee Bucks, two of the NBA's premier franchises? Maybe we're nitpicking a bit here, but compared to almost every other arena, this one just doesn't check out, even with the renovations. Another thought? The Suns already have plenty of wins on the horizon with Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton leading the way. Winning always sells tickets, but the Footprint Center only has a capacity of 18,422. Why not push for a new stadium with a couple thousand more seats? May as well increase the capacity while you're selling tickets. It's not going to happen anytime soon, but it would sure be nice to see Phoenix get a new arena at some point in the next decade or so. Toronto Blue Jays Some of the oldest MLB parks, like Fenway and Wrigley, have been well-maintained over the years. Can't say the same about the Rogers Center, once known as the Sky Dome. It's weird because the Blue Jays are owned by Rogers Communications, so they have all of the financial resources they need to have a state-of-the-art ballpark but they put off the need for renovations throughout the years. Having a retractable roof is a great bonus and all, but the overall structure of the building, which opened in 1989, is starting to show its age. Inexplicably, the Blue Jays have also used artificial turf instead of natural grass. Why do you think some players don't want to play there? Who wants to risk injury playing half their games on that stuff? In November 2020, it was reported that Rogers, the province of Ontario, and the federal officials were working on an idea for a new stadium that would see the current venue get demolished and a new ballpark would be built on the same site. Unlike the Flames, however, nothing here is set in stone. The Blue Jays with an exciting core led by Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and Bo Bichette have been a hot sports ticket for years, but the game day experience is nothing like Fenway Park or New Yankee Stadium because there isn't much to be blown away by when it comes to the ballpark itself. Clearly, renovations aren't going to happen. Could this affect the decisions of guys like Vladdy Jr. and Bichette when it comes time for them to re-sign? Like we said, it's not as if the Rogers ownership group can't afford a new stadium. Miami Dolphins There's a lot of history to admire at Hard Rock Stadium. This place has hosted six Super Bowls and has served as the home of the Florida Marlins from 93 to 2011. But all good things must come to an end, and this Miami football club is in giant need of a new stadium. You don't need to peek too hard at the stadium to realize it's old and slowly but surely wearing down. The stadium is not actually located in downtown Miami, but rather Miami Gardens. Not a lot of eating or entertainment options near the stadium, which is obviously a downer, especially if you're a tourist looking to take in a Dolphins game. And like the venues of the other teams who appear on this list, Miami Stadium lacks any modern fancy features. Nothing about the stadium nor its location is exactly desirable, besides the hot Florida weather, of course. The Marlins, who have a fraction of the following as the Dolphins, have a beautiful, luxurious ballpark. And FTX Arena, home of the Miami Heat, is not too shabby either. And then there's the Dolphins with their outdated stadium. There's a promising future with head coach Brian Flores and new franchise quarterback Tua Tagovailoa in town. Wouldn't it be nice if the new era of Miami football featured a brand new stadium, ideally in the downtown area? Just a thought. The good folks in Miami would love it. Oakland Athletics It'd really be a shame if this historic franchise had to relocate from Oakland just because they can't get a new arena. This city already lost its beloved Raiders, who relocated to Las Vegas, and the NBA's Warriors, after their dynasty run, relocated from Oracle Arena across the bay to the Chase Center in San Francisco. The Athletics, the original MLB Moneyball franchise, have been a consistent playoff contender since 2012, but attendance has unfortunately been near the bottom of the league. The stadium location and the rundown ballpark have to be key factors why. The Oakland Coliseum, quite frankly, may be the absolute worst venue for all of North American sports franchises, the Raiders need a new venue, but it just so happens to come in the form of relocation. 
Vancouver, Las Vegas, Nashville, and Portland are among the cities that are possible contenders for an athletics relocation, but the team will be best left in Oakland, where they've been since 1968. The hope is that the city will give the thumbs up for a brand new ballpark on the waterfront. That seems like the best bet at this point, at least if you ask us. Keep the athletics in Oakland, just give them a new stadium. What other good sports teams deserve a better stadium or arena? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton and we appreciate it. This is your first time coming around to TPS though. Subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.